So Terence, I love putting people in my time machine. You know, I've spent yes. the last, you know, it's not been easy to get a time machine, um, but I like to do this with my speakers. And I like to ask you, knowing what you know now, with all the experience you've had as a professional speaker, an expert who speaks, if you mm. were to go back to when you started speaking, what advice would you give yourself? What a fantastic question. And I think for me, one of the big insights would be it's so easy to focus on perfection and trying to get everything right. And you, and you realize in life and in business, there are so many uncontrollables. And so I would cultivate uh, an attitude of curiosity, of experimentation, of continuous learning. And to every time you speak, look at it as a, as a learning opportunity. And actually your, your setbacks, your challenges, your failures can be your, 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 you know, can be your most valuable um, opportunities to learn and accelerate. So this word fail, I've, I've created a very simple acronym. FAIL stands for from action I learn. And that's, that's, that's what I would leave with our listeners, which is yeah, if you're embarking on a speaking career or you're a rookie speaker, um, always be aware that there's always something to learn and improve and, and build every time you speak. And the way to do that is to have an open, curious attitude and the humility to look at your blind spots. I love that. And I really love that from action. I learn. Love that. Thank you. You're welcome.